Hello, welcome. My name is Harvey Olivio, Carrington College uh, clinical instructor. I have the respiratory guy with me, Mr. Houston, on video. Greetings, everyone. We are going to do our competency for MDI administration. So, of course, we're going to check physician's orders first, check our patient's chart. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put on my correct PPE. So whatever PPE I'm going to need, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to introduce myself. Mr. Smith, my name is Harvey. I'm with the respiratory department. Doctor ordered a um, breathing treatment for you. It's called an MDI. Um, have you ever had that before? If he says yes or no, explain everything to him in detail. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. This is for demonstration purposes. So this is the actual medication that goes inside the boot. And then this is the mouthpiece. So usually when we take this out, we want to shake it a little bit. You want to waste one, so and you'll see the medication. If you don't see it the first time you push down, make sure you do it a second time because you don't want to give the patient more propellant than you do medication. That's why we waste, okay? So also some of these come with counters. There may be a counter here that tells you maybe 200 doses or whatever the dose is. Know that it might not count down by one. So it might be 200, then 150, then 100, uh, and then so on and so on until it's almost empty. Okay. Also, we always recommend to use a spacer. There are different kinds. This is the one that we're going to use. There's a one-way valve in there. Um, any of the L-shaped medications like this should work on here. So this goes in here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get a set of vitals. So we definitely want to check heart rate, respirations. I'm going to take my stethoscope out, listen. And you also want um, SpO2 as well. Okay. So so we're going to do this first with the spacer and then I'll talk about without it. So Mr. Smith, I'm going to have you go ahead and put this in your mouth. We're going to push this down. Now the patient can do it, you can do it. Uh, so we're going to pretend we gave one. This is going to be in his mouth. So the medication is going to go in here. I'm going to ask him to take a breath in and hold. So take a big breath in and hold. He's holding it and then now blow out. So when he blows out, depending on the type of spacer, you may see a flap move, you may not, but he's taking the medication in, he's gonna hold it for a little bit, and then he's gonna breathe out, okay? Then, Mr. Smith, I'm gonna have you do it again, so I'm gonna pretend that I push down, medication's in here, he's gonna take a big breath in, he's gonna hold, and then breathe out, okay? Then we're done, we're gonna take this out, we're gonna put the cap back on, okay? We're gonna get another set of vitals. We're gonna make sure Mr. Smith is doing okay. Now, the competency does mention to, uh, if you did it without it. So I recommend always using the spacer from kid to adult. It's just a better treatment. More of the medication gets into the lungs. You don't get more of it going into the back of the mouth without it. Um, so if you were to do it, almost similar to the spacer, except you're gonna use a two-finger technique and you're going to have this in front of the mouth. So when the patient's breathing out, when they go to breathe in, they're gonna give their puff, breathe in and hold, and then breathe out. And then they're gonna do it again, push down, breathe in and hold, and then out. So this way, it doesn't have as much um, medication getting on the back of the throat or in the mouth, but it does take a lot more coordination. And the um, more better treatment you're gonna get with the spacer versus the um, uh, using it without it okay so after you're done um, you want to go ahead and clean up your mess thank the patient take your medicine outside and put it back in the patient's bin labeled and then um, record your procedure and everything you did into the chart document thank mr. Smith ask him if there's anything he'd like for you to do before you leave and let him know if you're coming back for another one